Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Structural Funda, myself Ethan Kenny and today we are going to learn about concept of WRCB. If we have given the cross section of the beam as overall width as small b and the overall depth as capital D then after the analysis of beam we are going to provide the area of steel it means that the reinforcement bar in the tension zone and it is known as the singly RC beam in which the applied moment can be carried by the limiting moment but if the applied moment on the beam is greater than the moment of resistance of the given beam in such case the designer have three different option as when the applied moment is greater than the moment of resistance first one is increase the depth of the beam second one is increase the grade of the concrete and third one is provision of area of steel in the compression zone so if we increase the depth of the beam it is not perfect for the architectural view if we increase the grade of the concrete then the sulfate of the beam is increased and if we provide the area of steel in the compression zone it means that we have to provide the reinforcement in the compression zone so that moment of resistance is greater than the applied moment so that the moment can be carried by the beam so such types of beam is known as WRC beam when the area of steel is provided in the tension zone as well as compression zone Now the terminology is used in the analysis of WRC beam is D dash small e overall depth as a D capital D and effective depth as small d. So D dash is nothing but the effective cover of the compression zone reinforcement. Small e is effective cover of reinforcement in tension zone. Small d is effective depth from the compression fiber to the center of the area of steel in the tension zone we require two values fsc and fcc which is known as the different stresses as compression reinforcement stress and compressive stress in the concrete at centroid of the compression reinforcement these both value is dependent on the value of d dash by d now d dash by d is ranges from 0 0.05 to the 0 0.2 according to the different types of calculations d dash by d up to 0.2 is 0 0.446 into value of characteristic strength of concrete calculated by 0 0.446 fck in any types of calculation now FSC is dependence on different types of grade of steel. So let us go for the values of FSC. Now for the value of FSC if FE 250 grade of steel is given then the FSC value is taken as 0.87 into FY. It means that the value is 0 0.87 into 250 which is equal to 217.5 Newton per mm square. So in the calculation of Fe 250 the FSC value is 0 0.446 FCK and FSC is 217.5 Newton per mm square. But for the Fe 415 and Fe 500 
the value of fsc is depending on the value of d dash by d and that value is Now, this value is given in SP16 table number F page number 13. So, for different types of value of D dash by D as ranging from 0 0.05 to 0 0.2, we have the value for FE415 as 355, 353, 42 and 329 in terms of Newton per mm square and if we have given fe 500 then the value for d dash by d is 0.05 it is 424 0 0.1 as 412 0.15 as 395 and 0.24370 if the d dash by d ratio is in between any of these range then we have to interpret it between these two values or the ranging values to find out the required value of fsc now this value of FSC comes from IS 456 2000 page number 96 according to close number Z 1.2 the value is given as ESC as 0 0.0035 into XU max minus D dash by XU max calculate the value of x u max from page number 70 of is 456-2000 and from figure number 23a the value of fsc is derived as this tabular form so this tabular form is used from the is 456-2000 using the equation of strain and the figure number 23a after the calculation of x u max and t dash and esc value so these terms is going to be used in the calculation of wrc b thank you